Oh, hi, kids. Let me tell you a little story about the birds and the bees, guys. Sometimes when a man loves a woman, there is a strong bond between the two. And when their love is very strong, they bang it out and they have a baby. But sometimes things go really, really wrong. And a man loves an org. And when a man loves an org, there's no stopping their love. And they bang it out, guys. And this is the story of Gromok, the hideous child of a man loving an orc. Meet Drago, a disgusting looking orc with puny little legs. And big as head. This guy is lost in the universe looking for somebody to love. Here along comes his mate, Valan. This guy is not even a man. He's half man, half Centaur, uh, along came Valan and Drago, you put them together, a uh, marriage made in heaven guys, and then we have the creation, their man-child beast prodigy, Gromok. This is the spotlight of Gromok. Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Worst Effing Gamer and we've got a brand new hero into the game. This is the signing, uh, you know, signing hero of the month. So I hope you guys have signed in the last two days because it only takes your second day to log in to get the new hero. Uh, off the bat, this guy looks pretty awesome. I do like the look, alright, so let's get that off the, you know, off the bat real quick. Looks like a really awesome warrior org creature with crazy muscles the axe action so i'm loving all that but yeah seriously guys this guy does looks like a complete mix of like uh drago and volan <laughs> kind of weird but i like his look so what i've done so far is i've gotten him level 100 orange plus two i haven't enchanted him yet so we're gonna go through his abilities and then i'm gonna awaken him for you guys today because it's sunday and we can unlock his awakening right away so that's gonna be pretty exciting so i think what we're gonna do right off uh before we start is let's actually jump right into the awakening do that first and then we'll break down all of his ab abilities including the awakening all right so let's go ahead let's begin this and a new thing they've got going on here is you can choose which chapter you want to do uh, depending on what items you really need, right? So if you need a different item, you can always change this, guys. Don't forget, you can change. For me, it really doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter! But I'm going to just continue, you know, leave it where I'm, I have it so it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead. Let's start. Let's begin this awakening quest. First off, Glove of Savagery. Woo! Let's go. Anybody needs those gloves. So we got everything here. I'm just gonna have to craft this. Wait a minute, what am I doing? No! All right, so new feature that they also included is when you automatically go here, it doesn't prompt you to use your celestial potion right away because I think a lot of people were making the mistake. I did it a couple of times where as soon as you start the awakening, it automatically, um, the, the, the message came on. It's like, oh, you wanna use your uh, uh, celestial potion? And you hit okay and bam, and it screwed everything up. So. It's actually kind of cool that they did that. So now we actually have to go back and use it by ourselves. Celestial Potion, yes! Let's use it! Woohoo! Demonic Blood, we got it. Now let's go ahead and let's craft this thing. Oh no. We don't get to do that. Let's go ahead. Boom. Crafted, equipped it. Part one, finished! Part two, let's go. What do we gotta do? Bountiful Caverns, okay, Bountiful Caverns. It's Sunday today, so everything is open. And let me just tell you guys right now, while we're all here, tomorrow is Labor Day, guys. I don't know, depending on where you're watching me from, tomorrow is a national holiday here in America. It's a Labor Day, which means uh, kind of a day off for me. It's um, not a day off, really. I have to go into work early, 7 o'clock, but we are getting out around 2 or 3 o'clock. And I will be streaming this mo uh, Monday, guys. So, uh, let's see, so... When this is dropped, it's going to be Sunday. Monday, it's going to be the 3rd. So Monday, the 3rd. Remember that. September 3rd, Monday. I'm trying to aim around 4 o'clock, all right? So if you want to come watch me live, we're going to show off all of the heroes that have been going on since I last stream. We're going to have a ball. We're going to laugh, giggle, pick on some people. You know, the usual good stuff they're going to do. And it's going to be a ball, all right? So don't miss it, guys. Monday. September 3rd, 
4 o'clock. I will be live. I'll probably post on it on my channel though. Anyways, here we go. Part 2 is done. Let's go to part number 3. And I didn't even see what we have to do. Same as always, without anybody being killed. Alright. What? No! So I've already done this, huh? Bitch. Alright. Hmm. What are we going to use here? All the... the uh, I have so many limited options to use. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Uh... <laughs> Psych! I got too many options that I don't know what I'm gonna do, but usually I tend to go with my... You know what? I've completely maxed out my DC hero teams because I love those guys, superheroes. Who doesn't want those? So that's why I typically go with them. Because I know they're really maxed out to the brim. Uh, let's go with Alicia there, I like her. And let's go with some Aquaman. Doing it Aqua style. I can feel myself growing stronger. How dare to stand in my way? Who dares? I can't read! Nobody will stand in your way, Gromok. You bastard. You dirty, dirty bastard. Uh, I'm kind of hoping this guy is good, guys. Because signing heroes sometimes can be pfft, not that great. These feeble creatures think they can stop a mighty warrior like me. Ha 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 ha. So as I was saying, sometimes signing heroes are not really the best heroes. I don't know why. Sometimes they are though. Sometimes they're pretty good. Sometimes they're not. So we'll see. I am close to my goal. Soon I will become the ultimate warrior. Yeah, yeah. But typically you don't really... S I don't remember if the last couple of signing heroes had an awakening right away. But this guy does, which is really cool. And I don't remember the other ones. But I'm kind of excited. They gave him an, old, uh, you know, an awakening right off the bat so let's go ahead let's complete this quest guys and let's see the transformation here right now if you don't already have them yet drop a like not a dislike a like <laughs> go ahead come on let's see this the people want to see the transformation well what do do you guys see this okay this is hellboy this is Hellboy, guys. If you've never seen the movie Hellboy, I've seen it. I like that movie. You know, it's an older movie, but this guy is literally that guy. Why didn't they just call him Hellboy? Oh, wow. What? This is completely different. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? Wow. All right. So the change from before to now, it's like night and day, guys. It's a completely different change. This is insane. Are you serious right now? Look at this guy's muscles. And uh, I've changed my opinion. I've changed my opinion, guys. He is no longer the son of Drago and Valan. No! He is a different, different son. Valan is a dirty, dirty cheater, guys. He dropped his Princess Drago for this guy, Haruk, Haruk, Haruk is on fire because this is absolutely the, Gramok is the son of Haruk and Valan 100%. I mean, take a look at his father, look at the similarities, come on. This should be an episode on Mori. Literally, they can do a DNA test and they will prove that he is the father. Haruk was banging Valan in back of Drago's back. <laughs> but anyways let's get serious for a minute here guys let's just do this this looks incredible i'm loving this look all right this card first of all it's like night and day now he looks like a wimpy follower like he just looks like a soldier in you know org army ready to kick ass and then this he just looks like he just made a deal with the devil literally and just went berserk i mean those horns are not even real he doesn't even have horns wow but can we talk about uh, really copyright issues here? I don't know. This is Hellboy, man. This is Hellboy 100%. But anyway, guys, it's time to get to the meat and bones of the show. And that's the abilities of Gramok. So let's break it down what he does here. So his ultimate, as you can already see, I maxed out ultimate and I maxed out battle vigor. Because um, I just, I had the ability points and I just started doing those. Now let's go. Death blow. So Gramok is never merciful. If any enemy target has less than 30% HP remaining, he will deal massive damage to them. However, if their HP is more than 30%, he will deal regular damage to them. If any enemy is killed by Gramok's death blow, including summon units, uh, then Gramok will be rewarded additional energy. Okay, that seems really, really, really cool. 
Whoa, so, um, first of all, is he a frontline hero? Frontline tank. Gramok is as vicious as they come and can chop uh, his foes into pieces. All right, so this ability seems really good, guys. Essentially, I'm not as sure if it's an execute ability, which means once an enemy that's close to him gets below 30%, this guy will instantly just kill them. I doubt it because 15,000 base damage is actually pretty high. That's really nice base damage, but I don't think it's going to be that high that it kills them, but it's going to do a lot of damage though. This is really good. Unfortunately, actually it's not unfortunate, but uh, it can. It, it's really only going to be use, you know, usable if they're 30% lower. If it's not, it's just going to be doing regular damage, so it's kind of a waste, you know what I mean? If an enemy so if you use his ultimate so this is what I'm kind of trying to understand which we'll find out later on if he gets his ultimate does he use it right away or does he only use it when your opponent is under 30% but I think he just uses it obviously I think he just uses it right away if they happen to be under 30% they're gonna take a lot of damage and they're not under 30% it's just gonna be regular damage so I guess it's alright but if he does kill somebody, including those summoned units, which is pretty good with uh, um, Gorum, her not Haruk, Kong, and um, I'm forgetting a bunch of heroes that do summon units. But hey, you guys get the point. If you're facing somebody like that, definitely use Gromo because uh, he's going to get additional energy, which means he can use his ultimate again, which is pretty cool. On to the second ability here, Battle Vigor. Gramok saps the enemy's inner rage, causing them to lose health over time and be unable to use magic attacks for a period of time. Whoa, okay, that's not bad. Uh, target loses a total of 6,252 HP. Silence, oh my god, he's got a silence? This guy got a silence ability? Hmm, silence success rate increases with his ability. Enemies below 105 will be silenced every time. Alright guys, so a silence right there, and they're gonna lose HP over time. Not bad ability, that's actually another really pretty good ability. So two good abilities that I like so far. Third ability, Slashback. Um, I think they're missing the point. It's supposed to be Clap Back. Clap Back, we're going to Clap Back. Grimoke has a chance to retaliate by spinning around and attacking his enemies in between regular attacks. If he receives physical damage, this ability deals damage to all enemy targets in Gramok's vicinity. All right, so if he receives physical damage, all right, let me read this again. Two thousand years later. All right, so what I think this is saying, guys, is uh, there's going to be a chance that this guy is going to do a spinning attack in between his regular attacks if he gets hit by a physical damage. Alright, I hope that makes sense. Uh, this ability deals damage to all enemies, so he's gonna spin around. So I, I guess every time he gets hit by physical damage, he's gonna just spin around and start doing damage. Let's see if that's really how it works in action, but I think that's what I understand that it does. Fourth ability, Roar Gramok uh, bellows out a war cry that increases his physical armor. Okay, increased physical armor by 522. Not bad, that's pretty good right there, so increased physical armor. Now, Awaken the ability that we just unlocked right now. Let's just take a look at what it does. It's actually called Grummo. Are you kidding me right now? Lilith, did you run out of freaking ability names? Like, Grummo's Awaken the ability is called Grummo. Come on! That's so freaking weird and lame. Do you need to hire some ghost riders up there? Come on! I'm pretty sure we can find a bunch of people that use ghost riders. <laughs> Anyways. Axe wielding allies of a hero uh, possessing a axe symbol will receive a maximum HP increase. Aura axe wielding allies max HP is increased by 3,960. All right, guys, that I love. I love all heroes that unlock um, badge abilities here. So this is really awesome. All axe wielders, we can find out who they are right here, will get an increase in HP. I love that. There aren't that many. Uh, right now, as you can already see, his original fathers, Drago and Valan are there. And we got Fallen there as well. Valan is the only one that we actually uh, are currently using in the meta right now. Fallen and Drago has really, like, fallen out. <laughs> but, uh, I guess you can run something with uh, Gramok and Valan. 
maybe for some HP increase maybe it's possible it's possible guys so that's actually pretty cool I like that right there uh, for ruins uh, he's not five stars so you can't put ruins on him just yet but what I would probably recommend with this guy is HP ruins probably put some HP ruins there and uh, if you have an energy ruin something like that abilities or still have to work on those actually this is the base at 3960 guys how much does it go by here by what was it 60 oh that's a pretty good increase it goes by 60 each time and this has to go up to like 40 so that's a pretty decent increase right there it's gonna be pretty high uh, we do have pets I've got some pets available here I've got Amika Emerson um, Abby and I've got Lynx let me just think. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on him right now. If, I mean, I think Mika is the best bet for more survivability, more physical attack. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I want to put a Mika on him. You know what? Let's go ahead. I'll put Mika on him right now. I've got to work on our abilities. I don't have no ability points. I've got to feed her a little more. I don't think I have much food. But for now, let's skip ahead and let's get into a battle. All right, guys. So, I'm going with the father and son duo here for that HP increase. Let's take a look at what happens here now. So... He's only got a few. Oh, there's the spinning attack, guys. All right, so every time he gets hit with a, oh, yeah, every time he gets hit with a physical attack, he is actually doing a spin attack. Doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage, but it's doing something there. And his abilities are mostly passive abilities, guys. So you're not gonna see most of them. It looks like they're mostly basic attacks with roar and a second ability that drains their HP there and silences them. So he's got a silence. He's got roar, which increases his. Um, his armor and then he's got his ultimate so let's go ahead let's try this ultimate here let's see what's gonna do boom execute all right i was right that is an execute attack guys so if it's below 30 percent it's knockout damage it does insane amount of damage but if it's not below let's see it again here execute yep it's an execute ability guys if you use that ability when your opponent is at 30 percent less than 30 percent it's an awesome ability now the only problem is all these other abilities are not that great <laughs> he's only literally got one ability that he is active. Oh, these guys are immune to physical damage. Terrific game. Ter freaking terrific. But it doesn't really matter. I, I've seen enough. Don't need to see anymore. All right, guys. Here we are now. Final thoughts here. Uh, first of all, that ability execute is insane. That is really, really dope. All right. It's a great, great ability here. I really love this ability. Could be definitely useful in the arena. You can definitely take out some heroes with this uh, ability here. Oh, that... Wow. Very, very powerful. Right there. The problem is, the next three abilities are really not that great. They're not that great. And a hero that's essentially usable for one. And then his awakening is pretty cool because it does unlock this symbol that gives everybody... Nice HP, but not that many heroes. But I'm sure in the future you're gonna get a lot more. But essentially, this ability gives himself an in increase in HP, so it's good on its own. It's good just to give him extra HP. But these are all pretty much passive abilities. Uh, this one is also passive; you don't see it, but it's a silence. And then this one, he spins around, does minimal damage. 780 is not that high. Now, mind you, this is only level one, guys. Okay. Don't forget, it's only level 1, but it goes up by, what is it, 20? Or I didn't even see how much exactly, but anyways, it goes up by a good amount. It's going to get a lot better, and I haven't even enchanted him yet, so obviously he's going to become a lot more powerful with ruins, with a pet, uh, enhanced. He's going to be a lot more powerful, but I am impressed with the awakened ability, guys. So, overall, how are we going to grade Gromo here? Because I want to grade these guys here, let you guys know if you should be working on him or not, if it's worth it or not. Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to give Grummo um, a 7. I'm going to rate him a 7. I'm going to be pretty strict on these heroes, guys, alright? I'm not going to just go away and give him 9s and 10s to everybody. I think he's a 7 hero. He's going to be usable in the arena. And honestly, nowhere else. Literally nowhere else. Maybe, yeah. I just do not see any of these abilities in Hall of Legends or I just don't see them. In raids, maybe, because if your opponent, if you are facing a boss and they're below 30%, this could be doing a lot of damage. So that that's feasible. I could see that. But other than that, Arena Hero with a death blow, 
pretty cool passive abilities. That's pretty much it, guys. That is the spotlight and awakening of Gromok. Hope you like that. I will catch you guys on the next episode of Soul Hunters. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.